begin bioterrorism part two. <laughs> we talk about bacteria, uh, anthrax, brucellosis, plague, key fever, and chilaremia. We're only going to talk about anthrax in this category. Um, signs and symptoms can vary by the infecting organism, of course. Treatments, you know, primary prevention. Uh, there's a vaccine for some of these things. Um, I do want to tell you about anthrax. It can be contracted in three forms. There's inhalation. Toxins in the lungs cause hemorrhage and destruction of lung tissue. There's a high mortality rate with inhalation anthrax. Um, one of the defining things is a wide mediastinum that you see on the chest x-ray. There's no person-to-person -person spread um, with inhalation anthrax. You must come in contact with the spores. Cipro is the drug of choice for treatment. Cutaneous anthrax, 95% of anthrax infections are like this. Uh, they're the least fatal form. You, um, you have pap papules, insect bite type papules that produce black necrotic ulcers and that's the um, cutaneous form. There's a GI form that's contracted by ingestion of contaminated undercooked meat nausea and vomiting, anorexia, diarrhea, etc. Remember, anthrax lives in the soil. Um, you, and sometimes you can contract it from like a cow, like mad cow, but it's, the cow's got anthrax and you can contract it that way. Viruses, good old smallpox, Venezuelan equine encephalitis, viral hemorrhagic fevers. Smallpox, of course, is um, the most popular. Small spot, we think the world is eradicated of smallpox. But smallpox still exists in the CDC in Atlanta and in one location in Russia that I know of, live smallpox. And we need that in case somebody really gets a hold of something and we need to make vaccine real quick. Signs and symptoms, um, you can read over that. I want to know how would you differentiate smallpox from chickenpox? That's an emergency room question. How would you differentiate it? See if you can find the answer to that. With viruses, there are extremely limited um, antiviral therapies. There is a vaccine for smallpox, and we'll talk about that in class. Just remind me. Care is mostly supportive, and you must put these people in respiratory isolation. Toxins such as botulism. Botulism you can be can contract from poorly canned foods. It's found in the soil and the spores are very difficult to destroy. Um, staph enterotoxin B, ricin, um, and I have no T2 my, mycotoxins. Um, we're not really too much concerned uh, about all of that. The signs and symptoms are similar to viral agents. The neurologic manifestations of botulism are descending flaccid paralysis with intact sensation along with other, other symptoms. The treatment is with IV administration of antitoxin. It's made from horse serum, so you have to give a test dose to make sure that somebody's not allergic to horse serum or you will kill them. Acute radiation illness, um, nuclear power plants as well as nuclear bombs pose a threat for radiation exposure. Immediate decontamination procedures should be started for radiation exposure. Um, I'm going to give you a handout on acute radiation syndrome, so make sure that you um, refer to that. And this ends this part of the lecture.